that is directed by one of Australia's finest directors, Mr Scott Hicks. Uh, and of course you probably know his work, he directed films like Shine, uh, Snow Falling on Cedars, Huts and Atlantis and No Reservations, and now he's, he's directed The Lucky One. So before you meet the stars of the film, I'm very excited to be able to introduce you to the producer of the film, Kerry Hayson, and the director of the film, Mr Scott Hicks. Thanks, Joel. That's a lot of steps there. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, uh, wonderful to see you here tonight. Thanks for coming to share this. As Joel said, uh, you know, this is, um, uh, you know, the film is opening here in Australia, which is something that Kerry and I were very uh, keen to, to organise. Uh, and Warner Brothers and Roadshow were good enough to, to make that happen. Um, you know, after all, we go and make these films in America, but I just thought it would be great to share it with Australians first. Uh, there's a lot of work that we do here in Australia on these movies, even though they're shot in America. Um, all the editing is done, you know, at home in Adelaide, and all the visual effects, all the digital work, all those sorts of things, months and months of work. So there's a lot that Australia contributes to these films, um, and of course with the involvement of the Village Roadshow. So um, I'm really delighted to, to, uh, to share it with you, and you to be, you know, one of these first audiences to see it. And I'm particularly excited, too, that we've got two of the stars of the film here, share the evening with us. Um, it's just evidence of their hard work in nature that they come out and support the work like this with us here in Australia. So I'd really, first of all, like you to please put your hands together and welcome Taylor Schilling. that we did and her, what she did just never ever left me so it was a really wonderful thing to compare you with with Zach and also to see what to me was exciting thing was to see the connection that you two had with each other immediately you know um, but then you also had to do all sorts of other things because Beth the character Taylor plays runs a kennel did they ever train you how to work with dogs? We skipped that in acting school unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, you could probably run a course in that now. I could, absolutely, after, after what we did to work on the movie. and um, It was just such a thrill. It's such a thrill to be here and, 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 and bring, bring the movie to Australia first. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. Uh, also, let's, um, let's ask our other star of the movie to come down, please, and join us. Please welcome Zac Efron. Oh <laughs> Easier to run down those? That's kind of weird. Yeah. Sorry. No, no. But at least you're not wearing high heels. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's, these are slippery shoes, though. Um, hi, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. That was an amazing premiere. Yeah, it's still going. Cool. This is an amazing <laughs> premiere. Awesome. I was really, you know, one of the things um, when I started working with Zach, I was so, uh, it made a big impact on me when uh, he and I went down to Camp Pendleton, which is a Marines base in Southern California. Because Zach plays, uh, you know, a Marine who's uh, come, come back from the war. And we had that day where we met with that group of sergeants, young sergeants, your age. Uh, you know, it was, it was a, an extraordinary thing. I mean, how, how was it? I, I saw you as an actor begin to really sort of click in, focus on the mental attitude you'd have to find. I mean, how was it for you? That was the most interesting day for me and Scott, probably in the entire filming process, because um, it was suddenly so real. These were staff sergeants, Marines, that had been on several tours, and they were my age, or younger. And uh, the stories that they had to tell were profound. Um, and it was hearing it from their lips. We were reading about it in the news. We were um, you know, getting it second or third hand. These are stories from their mouths. They took a while to open up, didn't they? Because it was yeah. quite sort of, you know, they, they live in, they're in their own world that you can't really share. But, you know, when they started to talk, to me, it was like, wow, that's really going to have to get this right. You know? Yeah, so, suddenly all the things in the script that seemed weird about them um, really made sense yeah, to me was, because yeah. they were 
they were completely motivated uh, ten times over. And uh, it went a long way to explaining why the character Logan is so, you know, hard to communicate with and yes. withdrawn. And uh, you know, so that was really interesting to me. Yeah, it was a great day. Hey, but listen, um, let's that's enough of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a look at the movie. Um, Please, uh, I hope you enjoy the movie. Thank you very much for being here tonight. Thank you. Let's roll the film. Thank you. Do it. Thank you, everybody. I'm starving. Give me some popcorn, Rosie. How about some spare? Oh, this is crazy. Look at the iPhone. <laughs> uh, she 